in a very close link uh, with the national agenda of each country at the country level. And uh, this is one dimension. The other dimension is the global scope, uh, the conservation of this problem in terms of the globalization. So I would, uh, I would uh, like to make the main focus on, on the first aspect, the small country uh, and its uh, national identity risks the challenges, I think, uh, that, is, that, that is more or less uh, close to, to my country, to Georgia, and I think also to the family, despite the fact that we have different uh, uh, deaths, different uh, rates, and different, uh, let's say, agenda, or that, and speak on the current situation. So, uh, as you probably are aware, Georgia has chosen uh, a couple of years ago uh, the way of uh, real democratic changes in this country. We are not saying that uh, it's been absolutely new start to us, we are trying to, and we have been trying to build up the new life uh, since the break uh, down in the Soviet Union, since the very beginning of the 90s. Uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, uh, several years ago we obtained a real chance to, to speed up that process uh, and uh, that choice is very clear. So uh, we started the new stage of our development transformation. That is of course linked with new opportunities, as I mentioned, new chances and of course new risks. So if we consider this problem of national identity as a risk factor for countries' development. So, uh, I think we should uh, consider it in that shape, in this context. Uh, and I think that the, our new story, because it's a new environment, when we uh, mentioned decided to, to, to have a radical democratic changes, or to speed up the changes, I think that with uh, this new way of uh, understanding that in the open society, in the transparent society, uh, in the free market economy, and uh, when, when the rights are protected, human rights, and, and uh, the new human rights situation in the country, there are more chances uh, in our view uh, to retain and to strengthen, to enhance your nation, national identity. But the Local efforts are not enough, not sufficient. We understand that uh, it's very difficult to define the I mean, ratio between the risk and the benefit. So, okay, you want a democratic society, and you understand that democratic society brings more chances I mean, for, for your national enhancement, and the obstacles of your life. At the same time, uh, you are limited by your resources. So, in this context, I think for small countries, for small nations, the element of cooperation, the international factor of collaboration uh, through bilateral national, through, uh, through the cooperation with international organizations, I think this is, if not the solo, but this is one of the best responses how to protect it, uh, also by additional supplements, by additional efforts. And in this context, I will not be very special. Uh, I would say that the collaboration uh, between the countries that understand the importance of this uh, factor of national identity for its country's development, as Lithuania, as Georgia, as our Baltic partners, as some others uh, in, in small countries, but with huge history and with a lot of commonality, I think it's one of the, one of the basic uh, that you can always uh, be in the streamline of your agenda. Otherwise, as I'm saying, uh, uh, the smaller countries have small chances despite, despite their endeavors, you know, good endeavors, to, uh, first of all, I mean, the, the financial allocations, just to, to preserve the cultural heritage, to preserve the language, to preserve uh, the rights of national minorities in your country, their culture, uh, diversity of this culture, um, and a lot of other 
aspects uh, of your national identity. So that's why we consider cooperation, a new level of cooperation with countries that are interested in that. Is, is one of the, is one of the responses. We also consider that, and I would like also to draw your attention that the role of international organization I think should be changed. There are a lot of well-known organizations that are responsible for the promotion of uh, national culture, heritage, and language, and so on. As uh, UNESCO and others, but we consider that uh, uh, today the problem of cultural dimension is, I would say, if not uh, the out of the agenda of, uh, I would say, international cooperation, but less, less attention paid to this problem. We understand that uh, the security enhancement today, the uh, global resources, terrorism, and uh, a lot of uh, other well-known headaches, uh, they just need a lot of attention. But uh, we, we think that uh, uh, culture and the communication, especially the, the, in terms of globalization, uh, we should, we should uh, devote more time. And, and not only time, but also we should allocate more money. I would like to draw your attention to one example. <clears throat> a couple of years ago, I attended and was keynote speaker at the UN Conference on Sustainable Financial Development in the city of Montreal in Mexico. We were speaking a lot at that conference. What shall we do in order to, to make uh, the world more sustainable and stable? in terms of economic growth, in terms of the growth of trade, in terms of the growth of um, sustainable cooperation based on international projects, so different ones, regional influence and so on. And unfortunately, among, among a, lot of, a lot of countries, uh, there was no space, an adequate space, for culture, for cultural heritage. So when assembly life is becoming more dramatic, uh, we need to, uh, to improve the life conditions and the standard level for many, many citizens, especially desperately, need to reduce in the countries today. And that is clear. At the same time, I think we're losing more chances. We're losing a lot of the well, just speaking of culture and we're speaking of our national identity, only we have free time. And I think this is a big mistake. Uh, I think that um, alongside with that um, new trends and developments today in the world, uh, there should be a very pragmatic approach to that. We need new poverty, we need new strategy, we need new analysis of what is happening today, um, uh, and uh, we need uh, new financial uh, that definitely is linked with a lot of significant uh, uh, amounts of allocations. I would like to make the other, the other, the other link, uh, also that is the uh, link of my country. Uh, I mentioned from the very beginning that I consider this problem as a risk and as a, as a benefit uh, for new democracies, for small countries with uh, new democracies, national identity. So that's why we're considering it as a risk and as a benefit. Uh, so that has two sides. So uh, also, uh, there is an attempt today to make a lot of similarities, or just to make a link between national identity from one side, from other side, self-determination of the nations for independent development and. There is a third aspect that is independence of some entities, new entities. You know that the uh, rapture conflict uh, areas in Georgia to a frozen conflict in South Asia in Hazard. So if we consider that the problem of national identity, so I have to say that uh, the national minorities inside the countries, 
they will have with, uh, with a new democratic agenda, they will have definitely more chances alongside uh, with, I mean, the major population, ethnic population, to retain the nation. But that cannot be, cannot be done, that cannot be achieved if conflicts are still open. So that's why also it is a risk, uh, I would say, it is a risk factor at the same time it might be a benefit national identity for minorities inside the countries. So that's why um, I think uh, when we speak about uh, the uh, enhancement of the, of the national identity, identity as a country as a whole, the, the problem linked with the ethnic groups, national minorities should be also a matter of particular attention, but not uh, in the case of Georgia, believe me. But uh, it's a different story. But uh, we're speaking about conflicts as a obstacle, as a green for all national identity. So that risk should be eliminated definitely. And the role of international communities is absolutely paramount in this respect. The other element uh, that, is, uh, that might be uh, interesting for you is that in, uh, based on joint experience, but we consider that, and we're very happy that probably Georgia is one of the few uh, nations in the world that uh, uh, really retains its, its language, first of all, and its, its culture. Just uh, yesterday, by the way, we have had a very good performance in the news, in the, in the science, uh, very famous Georgian jazz uh, group, uh, uh, the large pavilions who participate in the National Jazz Festival, and they uh, exposed their own problem, and it's a little special concert for our friends and famous, my dear brother. Realistic to do it in comments later. But they performed their program jazz, jazz, but based on Georgian folk music. So it's a kind of new direction in the music. And I have to say that it was a moderate success. The people they said they could not, could not understand how it's possible to, to just retain, I mean, your cultural heritage, your folk songs, but in new shape, in more improvised way and to introduce it to the audience and that's been shot. So imagine that we've been uh, passing that in heritage throughout the history that has you know the passion groups uh, and uh, with the Christianity in the, in the fourth century uh, probably if you are well aware of it most of you and uh, it's a priority to us Thanks God uh, we reach um, a lot in this step. But only, in, uh, only with, uh, in, uh, I think, the new agenda that started several years ago, we definitely have more chances to, to uh, devote more time and more efforts and more contribution to, to, to the enhancements, I think, of our national identity. We can speak a lot to me uh, while we just enlarging the list of races, basically uh, to, to link uh, in, uh, in your national framework there, or you can be a part of uh, globalization, you may lose it today. It's a very serious uh, problem, and uh, I think that we cannot uh, uh, just limit ourselves to certain time on this path even today. I think uh, what is extremely important uh, in our view, that is the consolidation of all efforts. And this is fact when we are speaking about the uh, collaboration and cooperation of uh, small countries, uh, that, is, that is extremely important. Despite the fact that which uh, uh, in terms of religiousness, uh, what is the damnation? But what is important is to uh, just uh, retain, retain it to be, uh, I would say, one best. Okay, based on that understanding, based on that cooperation, based on all that consultation, we, we may wish more than 70 changes to retain what we have.
last and last husband. You know that there, are, there is a lot of debates today. So what is important today in the world when we are speaking about the country in the West and the East in general terms? So what is the preference? Democracy or values? So democracy or values of organic approach, especially in terms of energy, new energy policy. So new energy policy of Russia is the price for the, uh, Europe or the West. All the West is trying to uh, would say accept the new rules of Russia in terms of energy policy instead of instead of like, as a compensation for would say human rights or human rights. I think this is the extremely important big problem that dominates the international community. So what 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 should I say in this context? That also this problem of national identity, number one saying, so also is my values. So that's why uh, the side that will win in, in this competition, uh, I'm speaking about the values, I'm speaking about the really democratic and transfer principles, or pragmatism in terms of interests, or the national interests, or regional interests, or interregional or the global interests. So what 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 will be the domination? So uh, I think that the great issue of putting Georgian language in the new draft of the Constitution of Georgia, of course of Soviet Georgian Constitution, and they managed to do it. It has been I think the first case when Georgian language, alongside the Russian at that time, has been admitted as a formal official language in the Constitution. So that, that I think uh, is a good demonstration uh, how we read, uh, um, uh, I would say, uh, uh, very uh, uh, principled in that, uh, in that respect. And we devoted a lot of energy and a lot of um, uh, time and, uh, and national aspects for which it is known. And rather than common sense. So, mm, uh, maybe to sum up, uh, 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 I'd like to make uh, such a statement that, of course, uh, my presentation was not a full fledged presentation that uh, touched all aspects of this problem. I tried to allocate some elements, some aspects that today are important uh, from today's vision, from today's. Uh, Reality, and I um, would like to say that uh, uh, alongside this, uh, the fact that the land is becoming more demanding and relevant for economic challenges today, in order to improve the life, uh, but we, we should, uh, we should be, this problem should not be a, a, a second row, I think, of, of the agenda, definitely, at national level and uh, at international level. Mm, and I mentioned some, some of these aspects and some of these, some of these elements. And I think when we speak about the common element between Lithuania and Georgia in this context, I think the most strong element and the most uh, natural element of this argument in terms of our understanding of the importance of national language, the importance of the uh, thinking of our national language. The nationality in that sense that is extremely unique uh, and that is the most uh, strong tie that uh, we have for today and that also gives the basis for future generations this, uh, uh, to, to, to know in the past, uh, to evaluate in the right way of current life and to, to, to think about the future. So thank you very much. And if you have some questions, I also have some time and ready to make the response that will be, I think, more efficient in terms of our uh, today uh, exchange of views. Thank you very much.